Hello family, this is Apostle Gideon. Welcome to KFG. No feed and grow on the way. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, kindly hit the subscribe button. Also remember to turn on the notification bell for YouTube to notify you when we put up a new video. I'm leaving a link to a free ebook I authored in the description. Check it out. It's going to bless you. Today we are talking about people who were called foolish in the Gospels. A study through the Gospels will reveal at least five people who were called foolish by the Lord Jesus Christ and God. And it is important for us to look and make a study into it so we don't live that kind of life. The first group of people who were called foolish can be seen in Matthew chapter 7. They are those who do not take the words of the Lord Jesus Christ seriously. Let's see it. Verse 24. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house. And it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sun. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell. And great was the fall of it. Anybody who builds his life outside of the word of God is like a man who is building on the sand. I don't think any of us would take our hard-earned money or investment to build by just going to sweep the surface of the earth and start building. No. You will follow the due process and principles of construction. If not, it is just a matter of time and everything is going to come down crumbling. It is the same with life. But over here, life is even more important than the construction of the building you can put up. Your life is more valuable and it demands that you pay more attention to your life. And as we follow the principles of construction in life, you must follow the words of the Prince of Life, the Lord Jesus Christ. A life that is lived outside of his words is a life that is going to come down crumbling. It's a life that is going to have dire consequence, especially when it comes face to face with death and eternity. Look at some of the things the Lord Jesus said. He said in John 3, 7, Marvel not. Don't be surprised that I tell you, you must be born again. Then he said, unless a man is born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That means without being regenerated or being born again, born from above, you cannot be part of the kingdom of God and have a relationship with God. That means you cannot attempt a relationship with God any other way apart from this way. He also said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. These are serious statements. That means apart from him, nobody can get to the Father. By what means ever, if you try, you are not going to reach the Father. Yes. He said to people who have believed in him, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all this shall be added. That means we should place God, his kingdom first in whatever we do and not ourselves first. This is wisdom for living. The Lord said many, many things. One other thing he said, which is very powerful, is that he said, anybody who follows me will never walk in darkness. The onus is on us to take him serious and to follow him then all these promises and all these words will be true in our lives. Now, in this day, I know somebody or some people will want to know, why should I follow the Lord Jesus Christ if he just makes claims like this? Everybody can make claims like that. So why do you think I should follow Jesus Christ and not any other prophet or not any other man of God? I want you to know, the Lord Jesus Christ did not leave himself without evidence. He proved why we should follow him in many ways. The first thing he gives as a reason is that whilst he was alive, he said, even if heaven and earth passes away, 
his words will never fail. Matthew 24, 35. No man ever spoke like that. Remember, he didn't say the words of the Father will not fail. No, that we know will not fail. But he said everything that he is saying will never fail. How can a man be such audacious? How can a man have that confidence? It is because he was God. Jesus is God. And when you study the Bible, you are going to see it. So he could boldly say things like that. Now, the second reason you can take the Lord Jesus Christ for his word is that whilst he was alive on earth, he said he was going to die. And he said on the third day he was going to rise again. And he said that whilst he was living. And do you know that he proved it every word of that to the letter? He is the only man to have died and be resurrected from the dead, never to die again. And he said it whilst he was alive. If he did this thing, you can follow him. You can trust his words. See, nobody dead ever said that they would die and resurrect. Only the Lord Jesus Christ. And he proved it. And in Romans 1, 4, the Bible says his resurrection from the dead is proof that he is true. You can't doubt Jesus. You can't take him lightly. Living, dying, resurrected, and he said it before all these things happen. Proofs that Jesus is one to follow. Now, this is not just a Bible fact, although it is recorded many times in the Bible, like in Matthew 20 19, Mark 9 31, Mark 10 34, Luke 18 33. It is also a world historical fact. Many secular historians who were not Christians and had no relationship with Christianity but had to record the happenings of the day attest to the fact that Jesus lived, he died, and he resurrected. Yes, at least they had many people attesting to the fact that he resurrected. Now, if you want further proof, our current dating system is even proof. You see BC, before Christ, you see AD, Anno Dominion, after death of Jesus Christ. Jesus actually lived. He died, he resurrected, and he prophesied it. Now, if such a person tells you that with him you can see the Father, with him you can be in heaven, I don't think there is any reason why you should take him lightly and play with him when nobody comes close to this confession. Anybody can make claims, but all of them, when they died, they were buried, and that was the end of them. Not the Lord Jesus Christ. He is alive forevermore, enthroned in heaven, waiting till all his enemies be put under his feet. Glory to God. These are reasons why you can believe and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to give you a third reason. The Lord Jesus Christ, whilst he was alive, told his disciples that when he ascends, He's going to send them the promise of the Father, which is the Holy Ghost, which he did send. Indeed, he sent in Acts chapter 2. The Bible says, when they were all with one accord in the upper room, suddenly there came a sound like as of a rushing mighty wind, which filled the whole house where they were sitting. And there appeared clothing tongues like as of fire, which separated and sat upon each of them. And they were filled with the Spirit and spoke in other tongues. The Holy Spirit came, as Jesus said. Whatever he said he did, his words must be taken seriously. His words must never be played with. Whatever thing he has said about us and to us, he is going to bring to pass. If we take his words for a joke, lightly, and take them, compare them to any other prophet or any other person who has ever lived, there's going to be dire consequences. Because for claims, everybody can claim. But when it comes to life and death and eternity, every one of them that came, he's dead and buried. You must believe the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, if you are a Christian, 2020, you have proclaimed that Jesus is your Lord. Lord means master. It means controller. It means the one who says, go and you go, come and you come. This year, yield to the words of the Lord. Study the Gospels to know what he says and what he wants from you. And follow his teachings. Follow his words. Don't play with his words. That is how you are going to reign in life. That's why your life is going to be like a house that is built upon a rock. The wind, the rain, the storm 
will never be able to take you down. I believe you are blessed. God bless you. I'm going to see you in the next video. Let me know of what you think about this message in the space below. Don't be counted among those who are called foolish. God bless you. Bye.